Thank you. What a brilliant day. Are you going to miss Aotea Lagoon and coming down here and catching up? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Carisbrook was a special place. It was 1992 and I got the opportunity to go down. 30,000 people yelling and screaming for you to beat Auckland. It was a brilliant time. Flying away now, Stephen Basham. He's a running 5 He's got Kamal with Wilson with a sensational try. He scored a couple of nice tries. I like the celebrations. <laughs> so he's lucky to be Highlander number one, which is pretty cool. Hopefully I can earn a number in the Hollanders' ranks. Played my schoolboy rugby at Scots. I had a really good few years in the first 15. Along the ground, Connor Garden Bishop. He's the youngest player on the park. It was an awesome environment. I made some friends I'll have forever there. Out of school, I moved to Canterbury. I was lucky enough to play Mitre 10 for Canterbury, which is a huge honour. Across the field for Garden Bishop. Oh, first touch, and Connor Garden Bishop goes as high as Michael Jordan. I was there for two years. I loved it down there. When I was given an opportunity to come home closer to my family and play with my brother, it was hard to say no. Whoa, it was well read by Garden Basham, but it's set up for him. Jackson Garden Basham. He's sort of been an idol of mine growing up. He taught me a lot, especially off the field, like just how to conduct myself in a, in a professional way. I'm still working on it, but he also plays for the Hurricanes, so it'll be interesting over the next few years, hopefully get a run against them. The thing I guess I've tried to push on is that with your rugby or your sport, like it's hard work, and putting that as your number one priority. Yeah. Um, but to have two sons, um, professional rugby players, you know, they've got a long way to go, but... Um, yeah, I'm so proud. The opportunity to wear a blue and gold jersey is awesome. It's just a new challenge, a fresh start, a fresh city, so I'm excited, I can't wait.